Hey guys, I'm back. It's a new day, and uh, I think we're about to see an Apple Jack episode because this is over a barrel. And just one word in that title made me think it's Apple Jack. Barrel. So yeah. <laughs> Should I haven't the first few episodes were Apple Jack, right? Apple Buck season. And uh yeah. Let's find out how good this episode is. Oh yeah. We're getting close to the finale, actually. <laughs> it's episode 21, right? Finale is in touching distance. So, yeah. Three, two, one, play. Oh, a train. Where's this thing going? Applejack. You better not be reading the spike. What is that? What the fuck? Why? you know, being replanted in a whole new place is very upsetting for a tree. And here's one of my favorites. Bloomberg needs his beauty sleep too. Bloomberg's a legend. <laughs> Bloomberg's my favorite character. It's okay, Rarity. You just sleep on the floor in here. Before we get away from everyone else. So does that mean all the main six are in this episode? Because those are the best episodes. At least so far. It's time to get into this. Let's do it. <laughs> Trying to get hyped. <laughs> I feel your rarity. You guys mind? And you, Spike. Salty. Uh, I am too when people mess with my sleep. It's time we all got a little shut eye. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Planting a tree? Aww. Oh, snoring. Conversation. Well, that was kind of huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. <laughs> was, was that a drug reference? Oh, God. Okay, things are going off the rails. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to be a tree, too. Fluttershy. Those guys have been running all night. A buffalo stampede. 
Oh shit. Are they sentient? <laughs> it's a feather. Oh god, you're about to die. Good choice, Spike. Oh, um. Buffaloes have got the size advantage, guys. Who's that? <clears throat> Pinky, you're getting... Your train is about to get derailed. That's another concussion in the show. Oh. How the hell do you whistle like that? Spike got blooper! I and Spike. Oh god. You shouldn't go and get him. No, she really does have a concussion. <clears throat> now you've lost the tree and you lost Spike. And you aren't even here yet. Oh god, who is this? Braver, mind your manners. You have yet to introduce me to your compadres. Shame on you. <laughs> compadres. Right, listen, something terrible's happened. Terrible is right. Your train is a full seven minutes late. That's seven minutes less for you to delight in the pleasures and wonders of Appaloosa. I'm just a little settler pony. Settler pony built all this in just oh, a yeah. few years, don't it? <laughs> and as you can see, we have all of the finest comforts. I'm a farmer's boy. Like horse-drawn carriages. Okay, you pull now. Ah, we just switched. And out there, horse-drawn, horse-drawn carriages. Nice. Listen, Braver. <laughs> and here's our local watering hole, the salt. The pub. That's what I'm salt for you. Have I at least that guy's get drunk. a glass of water? Oh, there's the office of Sheriff Silverstar. And here's where we have our Wild West dances. And here's where we have our Mild West dances. But I'd be in the Mild West dances. And here's the Just most slowly moving in all of Appaloosa. Our apple orchard. Braver. First harvest should be any day now. Braver. Good thing, too. Braver. We need a Shut up. Braver. Thank you. Uh, yes, cuz? You have a very nice town and all, but we have a huge problem. Some of our friends are missing. A stampede of buffalo. That's a fight. Rainbow Dash went after them. And we can't find Peaky Pie. And we had can't find Peaky. The orchard, but they took that too. What the hell? Say, buffalo. <sighs> them buffalo. They want us settler ponies to take every single tree you see here off this land. Is this like an Indian versus settler like Why? allegory? Beats me. We put a lot of hard work into this land so we could feed our town, our families, our foes. And now they're saying all these trees have to go? It ain't fair. It ain't fair. So you came all the way here to plant one apple tree. Oh, I can't wait to get my hooks on that little buffalo. <laughs> on that little bitch. Nobody Dude, she has a concussion. What are you doing? What you're doing? You gotta get out of here. I do? <laughs> yeah. Oh my cover. I am? Yes. Oh my, oh my god. So am I. And the more of us there are out here, the more chances of us getting caught. Run, Pinky. I'll hold him off. Save yourself. Stop. Down. Wow. 
what? Hey, don't worry, I know all those guys. They're cool. You say so, Spike. Catch you later, bro. Catch you later, bro. Seems they took me by mistake. They feel awful about it too, poor guys. Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. Still don't like ponies much though, but you know it's shit. cool. Huh. Well, I still don't trust it. I see we try to steal and fail still Before we finish eating, are you loco in the cocoa? <laughs> are you loco in the cocoa? Can I get some more of that mushy stuff, whatever it was? Certainly. <laughs> shit. And Mr. Spine. Certainly, I'll just go out back to the outhouse and give you some more. I don't trust you, little strong heart. You, you, that's it. We are at it. Wait, please accept my apologies for what happened on the train. We didn't mean for anyone to be hurt. Yeah, right. Then why were you bashing into the train? The settler ponies have overtaken the land and have planted an orchard all over it. Because of their thoughtlessness, we can no longer run over our traditional stampeding grounds. Huh? I think it's time they met Chief Thunderhoofs. No oh god. We have a long and winding stampede. His voice. We have run upon for many generations. My father stampeded upon these grounds. And his father before him. And his father before him. And his father before him. And his father okay. before him. <laughs> And I think they get the idea, Chief. <laughs> it is a sacred tradition to run the path every year. But this year, these settler ponies, these <laughs> apple loosens. Calm down. You guys have the size advantage. You can take them in a fight. Without asking our permission. Well, that's not very nice. Right, Rainbow Dash? <laughs> the ponies Rainbow Dash are pissed. Their trees. So Just because of that concussion. It is not fair. See, Rainbow Dash? They had a good reason to. <gasps> What's your problem? I'll say they had a good reason. Come on. We have some apple picking apple loosens to talk to. Oh. You're on their side. <laughs> Gently, please. We already did the same Rarity, thing to Twilight. Episode we have to be one. Ready for a long hike into Buffalo territory if we're gonna save him. Let's go. Oh. Hi guys. Well, you found him. <laughs> oh god. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness for everyone. How did you escape from the buffalo? We didn't. <gasps> oh. We promised the buffalo a chance to talk. Oh yeah? About what? We promised a little strong heart here to explain to the Appaloosa. Okay, that pose is weird. That information will be quite helpful. That's weird. Because my cousin Brayburn here wants to explain to the book. Communication. The is communication the theme in every single episode? That would be a useful thing to... The land is theirs. We just planted the trees not knowing that. Honest mistake. Now, you just gotta move them, that's all. Well, <laughs> they busted their ropes here. And now they're supposed to bust their ropes again just because some buffalo won't stampede someplace else? Plant the trees somewhere else. I mean, Where? can't they stampede, the like, through the trees? Parts. Like, in between the each trunk? Yeah, I the guess that'd be too much trouble. To Come on, Applejack. You're on my you can look. Both the settlers and the buffalo have good reasons to use this land. There must be something we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. <laughs> okay, what is it? Is the outfit. Divided, oh, it's so of you all, I beg to remember we're all hooked at the end of each leg. This outfit, too. <laughs> no matter what the issue, come from wherever you please. All this fighting gets you nothing but puff and mouth disease. Arguing's not the way. Hey, come out and play. It's a shiny new day. <laughs> this isn't so gonna work. What do you say? You gotta share. It would work on me. But not these guys. It's a right thing to oh god, you gotta, you gotta share. share. Oh. You gotta care. 
I'm sorry, that outfit is so provocative. Both our diets, I should mention, are completely vegetarian. We all eat hay and oats while we at each other's throats. You gotta share, you gotta care. It's the right thing to do, and there'll always be a way through. <laughs> that one guy clapping's me. Silverstar and I have come to an agreement. We have. That song actually worked. That was the worst performance we've ever seen. Have <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> the time. I mean, it wasn't that bad. He's upon us. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow. And if the orchard is still there, we'll flatten it and the whole town. <gasps> Damn. But Chief. And we Appaloosans say you'd better bring your best, cause we'll be ready and waiting. But Sheriff... Brayburn, a little strong heart. Those two have just got to get things going. Oh, that wasn't the message of my song at all. I want my kin to have what they need to live, but a storm's a-brewing here. <laughs> the like storm's a-brewing. We've just got to talk some sense into them before some pony gets hurt. You're not going to be able to. Maybe if you would just reconsider, we... You're going to learn in life, How people are very unreasonable. <laughs> they're very stubborn, and they're not going to change their mind. That's why I try my best to be open-minded, but, I mean, it still applies to me, too. Too much to ask of the general population. Jerk, if we could only... Is there actually about to be a fight? I want to see a full battle scene in the show. <laughs> like a full fight. Actual punching. They got the size advantage. And the numbers advantage. Come on, think. Think, 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 think. Yeah, all night to think. Fucking God. No, not right now. Jesus Christ. You got all dressed up, and you saw them about to charge, and you came out here and started singing. Buffalo. 
Another concussion? Uh oh. The chief's out for blood. Accepting death. <laughs> what? Oh, he's dead? <laughs> Shut up, Spike. You don't even. No. He's gonna think the pie is good. And? Hey, I've got a much better idea. What? You didn't think of this sooner? We will allow the apple orchard to stay in exchange for a share of its fruit. <laughs> Most delicious <sighs> apple pies. <laughs> Hey, it all worked out. Good food can sway people's minds. Bloomberg, this is your special day. Mama's <laughs> so proud of you. Fucking Bloomberg. S tier. Dear Princess Celestia, friendship is a wondrous and powerful thing. Even the worst of enemies can become friends. You need understanding. Dear Princess and Celestia. You've got when ponies to share. get too stubborn. Got to care. Yeah. Oh, she just said that. That's what I said. Well, yeah. Okay. I like that episode. Had a good Indian versus settler theme. It's pretty cool. We met the buffalo. Met little Strongheart and Chief. Uh, had all the main six in it. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> on to the next one. I got nothing more to say. I'm chugging towards that finale. See ya.